Muhammad Hashir. Are you following the update in Sudan? Because that is where all the coups in Africa started and the current conflicts in, in the world too. I don't know why people uh, forgot that. Well, Sudan is huge, but I'm not following it on a daily basis or on a weekly basis because Sudan is a war there. It's a civil war. You know, we could change it to yellow civil unrest, but it's really a major war zone in all of Africa. Same with Congo, right? But Congo is very focused. One of the reasons it's focused because it's just slave labor where a lot of resources are being extracted, right? So Congo is just extremely resource rich where I don't know why, how this happened. The certain powers that be mainly Western powers, and China is active there as well, have agreed just to make sure it's stable enough to extract the resources, no matter how many people need to die there, because millions have died there, right? Sudan is different. Sudan is more of an ideological warfare, right? There are certain resources there, but it's not like the Congo as far as I know. So Sudan is very much ideological, and this is more like you said um i don't i don't i don't i won't i wouldn't call sudan a global impact but it definitely has the regional impact right what's going on in sudan there's a reason why clinton in 98 sent a missile to afghanistan at the same time from the same ship and sent the missile in sudan and destroyed the pharmaceutical company right and why Clooney got clown Clooney was put into place to come out and say he cared about the Sudanese people about Africa and Sudan has to be split into south and north and all that jazz and whatnot right so Hollywood stepped up and they put in one of their big boys Clooney to manage the situation right the optics of it so I know that much about Sudan I haven't been following it on a daily or weekly basis if there's anything we should know uh hashir let us know okay we definitely i would definitely love to find out right uh, more about it anyway jack i'm kind of low iq in african uh, politics but burikana faso looks promising since that military guy took over does it i don't know Burkano Faso is here somewhere, isn't it? Burkano Faso. All right. I know about Mali, Niger, Nigeria, and I think Burkano Faso, uh, Faso is allied with Niger and Mali, as far as I know. Right? So that's a triple alliance there. Uh, but I don't know about the person that's taken over. Okay, Jacks. I'll switch to Rumble if we got to. Okay, Jack. Good, good. As long as you guys have backup, I've pinned uh, the channel on SensorTube, which ones you can go to. And uh, the reason we would probably kill this uh, stream on SensorTube is because we can speak more freely on Rumble, BitChute, and Twitch, right? Okay. Peter says we'll go to Rumble as well. Cool. Brother Nature, all three of those uh shahil states are mewling forming a single joint oh uh, mulling are they talking about forming a single state i didn't know that that's the first uh, i've heard about it brother nature as far as i know they're military dictatorships now really right uh we'll see where that goes Brother Nature, the same thing with the Kiswahili speaking nation in East Africa. Where is that Kiswahili speaking region? Where would that be? Yeah, I, it, it won't be Ethiopia, it won't be Somalia, it won't be Kenya. Are we talking about this area? Where would that be? Brother Nature, how will the poll results run Nature? There's six or seven of them, really. 
which uh, give, give me a location where where would that be brother nature uh hashir how will the poll results of france impact the region and the world big as elder god said the civil war in europe is going to begin in france that's what we talked about initially as well right we mark france as a civil war eastern africa federation eastern africa federation eastern africa federation is there a place called Eastern Africa Federation right now? Which country are we talking about? <laughs> Tanzania? Mozambique? Zimbabwe? Zambia? Uh, Uganda? No. Da, 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 da. Swahili, I believe. Swahili. Where is Swahili? Swaziland let's check it out oh you want bit shoot uh, uh, link let me give you bit shoot link oh my god Doink. here's the bit shoot link Doink. here's the bit shoot link Doink. that's the bit shoot link I'll post it in I've pinned it on uh, sensor tube, but I'll post it. Oops. I'll post it here. Don't. Burundi, ah, Burundi, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Kenya, really Kenya too, Rwanda, so Southern Sudan, Tanzania, Somalia, and Uganda. Really, this whole area wants to become a block, like the European Union or something. I had no idea. I didn't know. That would be a feat. I'm just looking at the names. Uh, Burundi, the Dominican uh, Republic of the Congo, Kenya, Rwanda, South Sudan, Tanzania, Somalia, and Uganda. And the focal point would be Rwanda, right? Where is Rwanda? It should be here. There it is, right? Which is connects back into Clinton, connects back into missile hitting Sudan, destabilize the region, support, don't support, ignore a genocide, let it unfold, and then rally the world, lots of documentaries about the genocide in Rwanda, Western world made a mistake, that's what they said, right? And then they go in Rwanda, set it up like a Switzerland, right? and try to bring that region together is it gonna work i don't know i don't know it's hard for people because it changes everything big ch yeah good evening everyone lord skill how are you doing hope you're doing well elder god tanzania kenya uganda rwanda burundi the dominican republic of congo south sudan somalia mozambique malawi Zambia, uh, Comoros. So is this something like uh, what Gaddafi wanted to do in Libya and bring uh, uh, Northern Africa together under one umbrella, create an African Union with a gold-backed currency? Right? Pretty cool, though. Jack Slice, salutations on Rumble. How are you doing? I made a Rumble account. Now I can spam all chats. Ha ha. <laughs> awesome. Salute, gang. Salute. This is pretty cool. That's, uh, I hadn't heard that before. Uh, speak that language. I have friends in uh, Africa talking about it. Miss Balloon Hands, hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Uh, brother nature it's been in the works for a long time it really hasn't hit my radar it hasn't hit my radar um, like how long are we talking about since the Gaddafi era was it something they rolled out after Rwanda and Rwanda genocide was actually before a uh, Rwandan genocide was 94 so Rwandan genocide and then the missiles in Sudan Right? Centralized, centralized uh, power, right? 
I wonder. I don't think the West will be able to. If that's happening, because Rwanda is under Western control, right? If this is really taking place, then there's got to be Western backing of it. But Western nations are on the verge of collapsing economically. They're economically, they're collapsing. It's rolling, rolled over, and it's going down, down, down. Uh, geopolitically, they're, they've lost a tremendous amount of uh, international uh, influence around the world. So unless this whole project involves russia china india a lot of the other superpowers have a hand to play in it i can't see it unfolding uh, in a good way for everyone brother no rights nick no rights nick salutations hope you're doing well let's check it out and yeah, I don't see the chat on Bitchu, but I'm assuming it's going. <laughs> I have no idea. But I'm not, uh, what do you call it? Uh, it's not running for me. 18 people have viewed the Bitchu live stream so far. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to refresh it. Plutonic Pars, watching every motion in this foolish politics game on this endless ocean. Finally, oligarchs, no, no shame, turning and returning to some secret place to hide wa uh, watching the slow motion as you turn around and say take my rights away or don't take my rights away yeah sorry no you should be sorry that was pretty good which is what's going on right it's crazy really it's it's what's going on is insane it's absolutely insane uh elder god i watch africa a lot but it doesn't come up on gildiver no no, it doesn't. I used to follow Africa a lot in the mid mid 2000s, early 2000s to mid 2000s to early 2010s. I was following Africa pretty closely uh, when they started rolling Africa and stuff like this. And I was writing a fair bit of articles on Africa, just looking at different regions because it really intrigued me of what was going on. Um, because of multiple uh, articles I read in the build up to the mid 2000s with uh, you know, like oh, what was one of the titles of the, uh, the? Yeah, multiple people were writing about it. Multiple people I was following were writing about it. So I really got sucked into it, uh, especially with Gaddafi, what they did to Libya and why they did what they did to Libya, uh, with obviously the so-called Arab Spring, which is a color revolution has happened across across the African and Middle Eastern countries with uh, the deals that Morocco was cutting with the Western world, the puppets being installed there, um, with uh, uh, Sierra Leone knowing about that it was very peaceful in the early 1990s until diamonds were found there, resources were found, and a mining company in Vancouver with a mining company in the UK, uh, hired their sister company which was a mercenary company went to sierra leone and overthrew a democratically elected government right and created a civil war where millions of people were displaced hundreds of thousands of people died just so they could install a puppet in power and take the mineral resource the rights for the mineral resources for the whole entire region which is exactly what happened and what blew me away and this happened in the early 1990s early mid 1990s what blew me away was how little money it took to overthrow destroy a nation which was five million dollars right so the two mining companies the one in vancouver and the one uk got investors to invest money in their mining company they took five million dollars of that money hired it out filtered the money to their own sister company which was a mercenary company went to sierra leone uh, i believe it was sierra leone and overthrew uh, the government installed their puppet and the first thing the puppet did was sign away the mining rights 100 percent of the mining rights to the two 
mining companies that put them in power, right? Zero F given about how many people they murdered, how many people they displaced, how much chaos they unleashed just for them to get the rights to extract the resources. That, when I found out about that in the mid 1990s, I really started following Africa pretty deeply for, uh, pretty intensely for about 10 to 15 years, right? Or stayed up to it anyway, right? Aside from, you know, me being uh, really interested in what Cuba did and how they were involved in uh, in Africa and Angola and uh, Mambia and the war with uh, South Africa and whatnot, right? Interesting times, interesting times.